Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Hill. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're back for another story. This one is titled Tina, the First Tooth Fairy by Bruce Sharschmidt. I know you're going to love this story. Let's get started. Her head in her hands, tiny Tina was sad. And as Tina stewed, her mood turned to mad. I got none of the important fairy jobs, young Tina muttered. Those elders are snobs. Not cut out for a godmother role, she'd heard. Tiny Tina the protector, please don't be absurd. She's too slow, too small, doesn't sparkle enough. Tiny Tina just doesn't have the right stuff. The elders, said Bree are wrong about you. And my dear little sis, they're anxious too. About the dust that gives fairies sparkle and speed. To elude gremlins, be godmothers our critical need. We're running out and it can't be drilled for or mined. A sustainable source would be a huge find. Maybe that's your job, sis. You're creative and smart. I'd like to help, said Tina. But where do I start? Try thinking of something that hasn't been tried. Use your wand to find where fairy dust hides. I hear sounds others can't. Could it possibly be that fairy dust? Is calling to me? That's it, said Tina, and off she flew. Toward the sound she'd been hearing, which grew and grew. And became very loud as she flew over a town. Maybe that's fairy dust. I'll fly down and look around. She tapped on a tree stump, which turned into a rat. Then she tried tapping elsewhere and got hawks, mice, a bat, a beaver, a wasp, and green Brussels sprouts. Not trending well, muttered Tina. I must figure this out. Use your wits and your ears and follow that sound. Tina then spotted a boy hanging upside down, with his mouth open wide on a jungle gym. Perhaps that sound, thought Tina, is coming from him. She approached him, looked closely, and Tina, that sleuth, said, Dear boy, you've a loose and noisy front tooth. I know, and it's ready said the boy with a shrug. I'll pull it out now. And he did with one tug. Tina waved her wand at the tooth in his hand. It dissolved and wrapped her in a sparkling band. Tina, now dazzling with her heart beating fast, said, I found it, I found it, I found it at last. I'm Jack, said the boy. Are you a fairy for real? And why is my baby tooth such a big deal? I'm real. I'm Tina. And we fairies must have speed, sparkle, and wits. So we need fairy dust. We depend on it for the work that we do. Who wants their godmother slow and dull? Would you? But it's scarce. Running out is our greatest fear. Baby teeth as a source would make all fairies cheer. I have one more, said Jack, that's starting to wiggle. May I have it? gushed Tina, starting to giggle. It won't come out now, but later it might. Then leave it, said Tina, under your pillow tonight. That evening with Jack sound asleep in his bed. Tina tiptoed and reached quietly under his head, took the tooth and replaced it with coins and a note. T'was a letter to all children that Tina wrote. Dear Jack, we fairies are grateful to you. Your second tooth turned into fairy dust too. Please tell all your friends what you've seen and heard. We'd like their teeth too. 
Now go spread the word. Love, Tina. Jack told his friends who told theirs. We must save our teeth so fairies can make magic dust. As Tina flew home, she heard noises beneath. Those sweet sounds I've been hearing are children's loose teeth. Tina gathered the elders and outlined her plan. Renewable dust sourcing for the whole fairy clan. No longer will kids throw baby teeth away. They'll save them for us and of course we will pay. Brilliant, said the elders. We'll get teeth while kids dream. But I will need your help, said Tina. We must fill the team of our quickest all dressed in tooth fairy team sweaters. When I hear loose teeth, I'll dispatch the tooth getters. So next time your tooth starts to wobble, my dear, it will make a sound only fairies can hear. If you awake to a coin for your piggy bank, it's tiny Tina and Jack whom you should thank. That was such a great story about the first tooth fairy. Have you lost a tooth yet? And has the tooth fairy come to visit you? Make sure you wiggle it so that the fairies can hear. I will leave all of the author's information in the description box below and also a link where you can purchase this book for your very own library at home. Please come back and join us for the next book. Bye!